In this video, I wanted to talk about the story of when I went to the northernmost part of Japan to photograph a literal hole from hell on top of the highest mountain in Hokkaido called Asahidake. This place is, it looks fucking amazing. <laughs> The story begins in the beginning of this year when I started my project, photographic project, called Fire and Ice. Fire and Ice is an ode to a poem written by a person called Robert Frost. In this poem, he talks about the inevitable destruction of humanity, whether it being by fire or ice. I know, it's very enlightening and it's very positive, and I recommend you check it out. So for this story, it was only fitting that I go to the iciest place in Japan during winter and photograph a gaping volcanic icy hole. I'm freezing, absolutely freezing. There's snow everywhere. It was my first time photographing Hokkaido. It was actually the first time I went there. So I had lots of expectations. I had a whole list of places I wanted to go to. And although I had bigger plans for my short trip, from day one, things did not go my way. <sighs> There's nothing here. What the hell? I don't know what's going on. There's nothing here. I, s I feel like I slightly experienced what death feels like. It's like you go up these endless stairs and then suddenly you're outside and there's just nothing. I'm just playing white in front of you. So I'm in this place called Bie. Bie? Machi or something in Hokkaido. There's nothing here. There's supposed to be a few spots that I was going to look at, but apparently it's just buried <laughs> in snow mostly right now. So all the roads are closed down. All the places to kind of that are kind of interesting are all just gone. But I had more plans. I drove 100 kilometers plus to go to this ice festival that is only held at night for like a week. After driving icy pitch black freeways late at night and fearing for my life, I saw one of the most surreal things I have seen. So I'm at an ice festival in Hokkaido, the coldest place I've ever been in my life, I think. I don't know why, but this, this festival thing, it's located right smack down in the middle of the mountains and it only goes on at night. So, I mean, that's an equation for basically death, freezing death. But we out here because I have a few photos that I had in mind to take and it looks phenomenal. Um, I'm kind of struggling to get the correct photo for the for whatever I had in mind. So I'm going to be sticking around for a bit, I think. There's this place called the Blue Lake. It's probably one of the most famous places in Hokkaido. It is absolutely beautiful, according to the pictures. And yeah, it, there was no Blue Lake. There was just white snow, which is funny because you know, obviously I was looking for ice and snow, but there can't be too much of it, right? Or else everything will be buried in snow. Of course, why didn't I think of that? Hey guys, morning. So a lot of the places were closed down <laughs> that I was intending to go. For example, there's a blue lake. It's really nice and the reflection is really clean. The water is really blue or some shit like that. But I went there and it was, well, they should actually change the name from blue lake to white snow because the whole place was buried in snow. After clearing out most of the things I wanted to do in Hokkaido after day one, well, because not all of them were open, I had limited options, but there was one place, just one place that I kind of wanted to go to if I had the time and if I had the guts to do so, and that was Asahidake. Today, I'm off to somewhere that honestly I am not too confident in. It's uh, one of the highest mountains in Japan. I think it's the highest mountain in Hokkaido. It's pretty rough, but there's one specific place that I want to go to. I'm a little bit 
worried because I haven't prepared for this, but because a lot of the places were closed, I really want to make sure I get as many photos as I can of interesting things. So I woke up day two, I decided to man up and just go. There was a specific shot I wanted for my project. I knew it wasn't going to be easy, but you guessed it right. That was to take the photograph of the hole from hell. I haven't snowshoed in like two years, so it's been a while and this is a bit different. And you know what, this is pretty easy. I think I'm actually, I feel like I'm actually built for this. A lot of the time I wish, I kind of wish I have a crew to just follow me and take these YouTube videos. I always think of how amazing that would be. But after doing stupid stuff like this, I, I do recognize the odds of that are quite slim. But hey, if you're in Japan, you want to help me out, let me know. After an hour or so, I got to the exact place I wanted. The weather was with me, which is kind of a miracle because this place is barely sunny for the whole day. So with everything aligned from my spontaneity to the weather, I was able to see with my own eyes the scene that I wanted to see. So that's the place that I wanted to show you guys. Um, this is like a few hundred meters up uh, snowshoeing um, from the ropeway station. This place is, it looks fucking amazing. <laughs> this is, this is insane. Um, look at how close you can go, Jesus. I can't elaborate enough how beautiful Hokkaido was. The outdoorsman inside me took over during this trip. During my whole trip back to Tokyo, I was pondering whether or not Tokyo is actually the best place for me or not. It's food for thought. I do recognize that I've been kind of out of making content recently. So for the great guys, uh, thank you know that are hanging out and are still there, thank you and hi. And for those of you that are new, also hi. Thanks for watching and see you again soon. I promise. By the way, a uh, shout out to Beams and Netflix Japan for sending me these wonderful earmuffs. I've never bought earmuffs myself. And I'm really glad they sent me these because uh, I just brought them because I had them uh, in my house and I haven't used them uh, since they sent me it a few months ago. Not sponsored by them, but I am giving them an extreme, <laughs> literally an extreme shout out while I'm snowshoeing down uh, one of the highest mountains in Japan. <laughs>